And for the last point, the creativity and uniqueness, importance of being yourself, importance of creativity. Now, I don't really, it, it really recaps everything else that I've said throughout the video, but I'll just sum it up in this one. So being unique is, let's say the bread and butter of what that of your branding or who you are and what you want to express in your video. And I'll take Brandon, for example, his style is he does a full time job again. And he puts his personal stories and wants to relate, relay himself to other individuals. So hopefully we get entertained and, you know, we learn more about him. But there's other things that he might not know that, that affect us in some way. His videos, the fact that he's, let's say it's because his videos are so personal, that might touch us in a certain aspect where some of us might feel very timid, shy. We're, we're not quite sure that we can do what he's doing. And the fact that he's doing it and putting himself out there might inspire them, these type of individuals, because they wish to do this. They want to at least feel wanted. They might feel that they want to get their word out. And seeing this person's videos and his stories, and you can even comment to get to know him, it'll give you the opportunity to reach out to him, speak to him, and even ask for tips. He posted up a video how to move to a big city. It's a small, it's a small snippet of his the stress he went through to do that. But that the what he says in his video might specifically relate to you and might help you when you want to move somewhere. Going through the hardships that you don't know what you're gonna deal with. And I believe in the video he tells you, I'd recommend doing this and not this. But I'd have to go through it again. As you can see, I stalked the crap out of him. And the next one is Frankie and Emily. The reason I love his channel is because the fact that they both work very hard and they find the time to at least do this together. This is very, especially when you have a, a relationship with someone, when you, when they take the time to develop their bond together is extremely important. And I find this very commendable that they're doing it. And it's just fun stuff. Uh, and uh, for, I love these two. It just kind of touched me in that sense where when I see myself as a father, then hopefully one day I can be as good as them. Because even through the hardships, and I've mentioned in this video, you scroll down, and what I said is, my favorite part was how you were able to compose the video in a way to express it in a very upbeat and happy mood. Even though all the ups and downs, everything feels to be a dream come true. She edited it and she expressed her story and put it in a manner to show that through the tough obstacles of what she does she was able to put this story and make it feel like wow you're living a dream or even if you're not living a dream you we feel that from this video you're doing a fantastic job and i commend you and we feel that pressure we feel that we want to see you grow and do better and hopefully overcome this obstacle of whatever you're facing financial problems emotional problems etc so to wrap this point up Again, uniqueness is about reaching out to people and expressing what you want to say to them. And it doesn't matter whether you're not reaching out to 50 million people. The fact that you can reach out to 100 people and touch them personally and make improvement in their life, that's what grows your channel because that's who they're going to share your channel. They, that's who who's going to share your channel in the future. Hey, this guy did a great video. I think it was very funny. You should see it. Hey, this guy has great advice. I think you should see the video. Hey, this couple looks very fun. I want to be like them. Let's try it. And you know, they're doing very good. And so the last point on creativity, and it's not going to be anything special. It's just to touch on what I said earlier. What your personal style is, is going to touch certain people. If you see Markiplier, his is all commentary, minimal editing, Vanoss Gaming, a little more editing, not too much. All commentary, showing the fun times. Hoodie Panda, I have the perspective of him as the super hard worker who's always always trying to improve himself every day, and it works. Grion, he has a different perspective for doing Minecraft architecture videos. If you look at other YouTubers such as Nigahiga or Game Grumps, you see the immense difference in what they do, and that's why they're so popular, because their videos show the quality content in their style. But to wrap this point up, that's the purpose. The more creative you are, and if you watch other videos such as what Markiplier touched on this, I think one or two years ago, creativity has been dropping. If you saw the recent YouTube rewind, it wasn't that great. 
So creativity is a very important thing to express who you are and to reach out to certain people. But it also shows that you give an effort and you care that, the, you, that your videos are high quality and want to put your message, not in a lazy sense of, oh, let me just do this and put it out there, but in a sense of, I want to nurture this product and I want to give it to you with all my heart. And um, I went through a bunch of different points, so I'm not sure if I missed anything. And there's a lot of other points I didn't want to talk about for now, because that'll be for a more in-depth video. But um, eventually, I'll start breaking these down in a more concise manner. But the reason, again, the reason this is super long and and I talk so much is it's a, it's, a, it's a different style. I'm still experimenting, but the main point of this video was a, a milestone for me, per se. It's my first month, and I wanted to share as at least briefly of the little tidbits that I've done throughout my first month of YouTube. And by all means, it definitely wasn't me being lazy. It's me learning, me reaching out, me learning something new on editing, me learning something on how to comment, me reaching out to people and trying to find time together. Uh, editing was the bulk of the time. This is probably going to take me hours or a few days to edit. It's, it's such a pain, but it is what it is. You got to do it because I enjoy putting this video out and I hopefully one day and this is not a bad thing, I want to at least make a good passive side income off of this so I can continue doing what I enjoy. So if I happen to eventually find something that I'd like to add on to this, I'll put in another video, but it's say thanks for watching. And hopefully if you guys want to put up a video, let me know and I'll watch your stuff. And hopefully we can grow together because that's the point of what my channel is.